Hey friends, it's me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Ukraine situation, uh, how Russia invaded Ukraine. Uh, so uh, for a while, you know, I tra I I, cho I chased the narrative about the, uh, you know, Russia's upset that uh, NATO wants to annex the Ukraine and all that. Uh, you know, you hear narratives, you 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 follow them for a while, but uh, eventually I got down to the bottom of what's going on in Ukraine, and it turns out the Jews are behind it. So it turns out that uh, Ukraine, after the collapse of the former Soviet Union, uh, Ukraine for a very long time was basically living the uh, agrarian peasantry lifestyle that, uh, you know, that uh, the uh, Soviet Union had. But in recent times, uh, Ukraine has become ripe for the economic picking. And uh, rich Russian Jews want to muscle in on the action. But uh, the Ukrainian Jews want to keep it all for themselves. So uh, they don't want their, uh, uh, their Russian cousins muscling in on their turf. So what we're looking at is uh, turf wars between the Ukrainian we're looking at a turf war between the uh, Ukrainian Jews and the uh, and the Russian Jews. So the uh, the Ukrainian Jews, you know, they've seen this coming for some time, and what they've done is they've tried to uh, they've tried to uh, uh, strengthen their position against the Russians by uh, associating with American Jews and with uh, with countries in the West, you know, with uh, NATO countries. So that part is true, but the source of it is uh, actually uh, the uh, the uh, Jewish uh, contingent in Ukraine. So, uh, for example, you know, to give an example, for example, the chief rabbi in Ukraine was actually imported uh, from the United States. So you have, you know, the chief rabbi in Ukraine is actually an American born and raised uh, Jewish person. So, uh, uh, you know, and then uh, with, uh, with Israel, Israel is actually the one playing the mediator, uh, trying to broker the deal between the Russians and the Ukrainians. Why Israel? Because it's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a Jew war. It's, uh, it's a war between... Uh, the Ukrainian Jews and the Russian Jews with innocent Ukrainians caught in the middle. So uh, that's that. And now, uh, you know, and, and the, the news, you know, broke, you probably heard that uh, uh, Israel favors Russia, you know, presumably because, uh, you know, the Russian Jews have a lot more money than the Ukrainian Jews. Um, You know, this was a story that was leaked by Ukrainian aid that uh, uh, Israel had told Ukraine to uh, uh, just just agree to whatever the Russians want. And then uh, once it was leaked, then uh, Israel denied this. But, uh, you know, this also explains the uh, canard about, uh, you know, Ukraine needs to denazify. And, you know, it's plagued by anti-Semitism, which is kind of funny. You know, their, their president, Zelensky, is of the Jewish persuasion. And, uh, you know, there's a very strong, uh, healthy uh, Jewish uh, contingent in, in Ukraine. Three of the top, uh, the most wealthiest individuals in Ukraine are Jewish. Um, uh, but... Uh, the idea behind this uh, canard is that uh, 
if uh, it's kind of like critical race theory in the United States. Uh, if you uh, have a huge program or, you know, you blame people for, uh, for uh, having uh, bad attitudes, then no one's going to be allowed to uh, raise any flags, raise any alarms, sound any alarms, because uh, then, oh, then, you know, you're a bad person. You're the one that we're, we're trying to, uh, to get rid of. But, uh, you know, if, if uh, Russian Jews come over and then overnight they prosper immensely, uh, you know, that would bring some, uh, some red flags up. But if you have an environment where you've stifled any of those uh, types of criticisms by, uh, you know, having a, a massive program uh, that, uh, you know, we need to control our attitudes and things like that, then that's not going to happen. Now, if you look at Russia, uh, five of the top 20 billionaires are, are Jewish. And uh, what's interesting is that four of the five have dual Israeli citizenship and uh, you know as if they're gearing up for something three of those four also have dual Ukrainian citizenship so uh, you know you have to look at uh, you know what's going on in Russia and also in Ukraine you know Ukraine uh, Ukraine has had uh, has had some Soviet wealth too that uh, some people have managed to walk away with. And uh, now that Ukraine is uh, modernizing so rapidly, uh, there's a lot of people who want in on the action. So uh, in on the action. So that's something that's something to to be aware of, uh, regardless of how it sounds.